Okay, we're up and running. Uh, welcome everybody to the Monday night TCB tips from the top and our MVPs this week are going to be sharing with you and it's going to be so awesome. Um, so before we got started, just wanted to kind of um, talk with you guys just very briefly about this path to platinum and this drive to director. Is that making sense hitting home with any of you guys? About getting someone in. So if you have someone that's getting started, you know, get with your director, get with your elite and, and sit down and talk about the path to platinum. So the path to platinum is about 30 customers um, at about a hundred points a piece and you build on that. And what you do is uh, if you're running for it right now, that's like one customer every three days. And so uh, as you re start reaching your goal of platinum and you, you want to maintain 30 customers. So as some fall off, you're going to need to replace them. But that's going to get you guys about $1,000 a month. Then you're going to get, and then if you want to uh, do, build a team, you're going to help three families do the same thing you just did. And that is going to put you to D1 Platinum, and that is anywhere from twenty four dollars to $30,000 a year. Does that sound like a pretty decent side gig to you guys? So uh, that's something that we're working on, and we're working to perfect. And so all these lives and all the things that we're doing on on Tuesday nights and the Facebook lives and all that's to help you weave in uh, these activities with with what you're doing in your business and your tracker How's everybody doing on the tracker seems like a lot of actions coming together because it's coming to fruition from all that work you're, you guys are doing remember don't focus on the result focus on the activity right right okay so without further ado um, Without further ado, some, they, they don't think we're on yet. Okay, so without further ado, I would like to um, introduce Holly. She's already squirming in her seat. Um, this lady, Holly, Holly Parrott, lives here. Um, she is the Memphis Mafia MVP this week. Let's give her a round of applause. She's got on her Memphis Mafia shirt. Um, and she is going to tell you guys uh, a lot about coming from uh, uh, a certain background, from actually coming into this business, having never done this industry before. And she's going to kind of tell you about her story. And so she is a P2. She got her first social marketer this week. So now she's going to tell you how that came about. And so I, it is when you get an opportunity to water a flower and watch that flower bloom. It is the highlight of doing what I do. And so Holly, I could not be more proud of you. And I can't wait to hear your story. Everybody get your pens and papers ready because you're about to be blessed. So Holly Parrott lives here and you live in Bartlett, right? Uh -huh, I do. She lives here in Bartlett, which is a, is a, a suburb of Memphis. So Holly Parrott, P2, Bartlett, Tennessee, Take it away. Hi, everybody. Can, can y'all hear me okay? Okay. First, let me say I'm a nervous wreck. I don't do this stuff well. Dina's getting me out of my box, let me tell you. Big time out of my box. So like she said, I'm from um, Bartlett, Tennessee. This is the first time that I've ever done anything like this. Um, I have a small bookkeeping business that i this is like tax season right now, really bad. So um, I want to start first by talking about last weekend, Missy Carey, I'm sure all of y'all know Missy Carey. She has mentored me. She's told me everything that I need to do. And then I go to Dina, Dina, Dina's getting me out of my comfort zone big time. So I, last weekend I went to the event that was here in Memphis that um, Justin Prince was at. And Missy said, you really need to take your husband. And I'm thinking my husband is never going to go to this, but he did, he agreed that he would go. He, he went with me on Friday night and he was so impressed with the business that Saturday rolled around. He came with me Saturday as well. So that was great. But on Friday night, Dina um, introduced me to Justin and I have a, a really good deal going on. A lot of my customers are buying bio sell and I've been able to sell a lot of BioCell. So Justin asked me if I would get up front and 
speak about it. And I told him, absolutely not. I was not about to get up in front of a crowd and talk to anybody. So needless to say, as the night went on, Dina decided when she was able to reach out and get a group of people to come up front, she decided to just have me come up front and speak. Totally out of my box. I thought I was going to pass out. I was a nervous wreck, but I'm learning that that's part of getting out of your box is, is part of what this business is all about. Um, and I, like I said, I'm, I was a nervous wreck. I, I want to go back and start with how this all got started. My sister-in-law, Amy Parrott, she started selling Mo Deer last, I guess, maybe February. And she was posting things on Facebook. And so I wanted to support her business. And I bought, you know, I think I bought the burn, which I really loved. And I um, bought some of the eye um, health. And she kept posting about BioCell and posting about BioCell. And my husband has terrible, terrible knees. And he kept watching and watching. And it probably took us about four months before we finally thought, you know what, we're going to try BioCell. And I bought BioCell for him. He, did, he took it for about two or three weeks before, when it started helping him quite a bit. We have a pool in our backyard. We have people over at the house all the time. And, um, and he would just mention, and I would mention what it's done for us because I don't know how I've had plantar fasciitis and um, Achilles tendonitis, and it I was walking like I was 100 years old, and it has really, really helped my feet. And you just mention that to people. I had a guy tonight that dropped in. He's a runner. He he showed up tonight out of nowhere. Wasn't expecting to have company just a few minutes before this. He was asking me what I was fixing to do or what I, what we were doing. I said, well, I'm fixing to have to go do a Zoom, and I'm a nervous wreck. He's like, what's a Zoom? And so I explained to him and I started explaining about BioCell. He was, you know, he was interested and he, ha he has all these running friends. So we're going to send him information. It's just bringing things up in, you know, casual conversation. My husband's really good about it. He's, he has uh, talked to lots of people. He plays golf and I've gotten a lot of customers that way. Um, anytime somebody mentions that they have, knee issues or shoulder issues. We just, you know, we casually bring it into the conversation. Um, once I started, both Ronnie and I, my husband's retired, and like I said, I own my own small business. So once we both started taking BioCell, I thought, this is gonna get a little bit pricey. So I called my sister-in-law and I said, is this gonna, will it help you or will it hurt you if I sign up to be a social marketer? Of course, being new in the business, I had no idea, and she was thrilled. So I have slowly, I mean, friends have seen what it's doing for us. And one of the things that I have learned to do is, because um, it can get pricey, I, a, a friend of mine, she bought BioCell. Her husband started giving her a little bit of a hard time with it. So I put customers under customers to try to help them, you know, tell them how they need to be on. Um, auto ship so they can get the discount and then when another customer comes to me I put another customer under them so that they can get some discounts you know help help pay for what's you know because it, it can get a little bit pricey then when I signed up in August of last year they had a really great special going on and I bought it twice and I handed out as much of the products as I could I, I'd use um, I love the antioxidant gel, so I'd use it, and I, you know, people would come over, I'd put it on their hands, put it on their face. I just really tried to share as much of the products as I could, because you can tell somebody how great something is, but if they can use the product, so I keep stuff in my purse. Uh, you know, the body, the body butter. Everybody knows how great the body butter smells. I've handed that out, um, but. My, my deal, me personally, if I sit and talk about how good something is, then people kind of come around to it. But I decided to buy uh, several bottles, have several bottles of BioCell and keep in the house. 
And when somebody says, oh my gosh, you're, you know, bio cell, tell, you know, tell me about it. And I'll tell them about it. And they'll go, well, I think I'm interested. So I give them a bottle right then and there. And I'll say, go ahead, let's get you started and we'll place your order. And that way they don't have to wait for it. Well, they've taken my bottle and now they feel a little bit, you know, they're obligated. They've signed, we sign them up right then and there, and then they just return a bottle once their bottle comes in. And that has really worked well because it's not giving them a lot of time to, you know, think about it. They've said they want to do it and I'll say, here you go, let's get started. And I think I've probably done that with five or six different people. And it, and that has really, really worked well for me. Um, I have a, had a neighbor that lived across the street from me. She had frozen uh, shoulder. She had had a really bad shoulder in, injury. And she kept thinking the same thing, that she wanted to try it, but she wouldn't commit. So I gave her a bottle of BioCell. Of course, that was back when one bottle lasted a week. That was a little bit cheaper. <laughs> when I was got kind of every once in a while giving them away. But um, I just, you know, when you really care about other people and don't want them to feel bad, I mean, it's easy for me to bring up the subject of BioCell, which is the main thing. The other, the other um, product that I do good with is the uh, Modir ID. We have, like I told you, we have people over at the house quite a bit, swimming and stuff like that in the summer. And the guys are watching ball games or doing whatever, well, we'll do facials. My mom, she's in Vegas. She just left for Vegas this uh, past week. And I sent a bottle of um, Modir ID with her because she's going to be there with three or four girls. What else for them to do later at night is do facials. So if you can just get the products out as much as possible, it sells itself. To me, I think it sells itself. Um, I, um, I mean, I, I personally decided that I was going to go through the book and try to try to use as much of the products as I possibly could because you know you can't really sell something to somebody that you haven't used yourself is, is my opinion and yes it's going to cost a little bit of money to do that you got to spend money to make money that's what I've always been told you got to spend a little bit of money to make money and even if it's just giving somebody the tail end of your body butter or the tail end of your um, antioxidant gel you're giving that to somebody to use, and if they like it, they'll buy it. I have learned that. If they like it, they'll buy it. Um, I, like I said, I do try to take my customers, and if a new customer comes in, put it underneath that customer, because that helps to get them on auto ship, and then they get some of their products free. It does hurt your commission a little bit, but it's well worth it, because then they're on auto ship, they stick with you. I think I've only had um, two people to go off auto ship. Um, one said that BioCell wasn't working for them, which I found out later because they were taking it every two or three days. So it's not gonna work if you just take randomly take it. And my husband, he's, he's a golfer, so he if he's out on the golf course, he, he'll mention it to his friends that are golfing. My mom, like I said, my mom, she'll mention it. It's, so it's kind of like a, a network. If you if you get with your fr friends and family and, and they love it, then they'll just, you know, they'll mention it to other people. I also bought some of those little cards. I can't think of what the guy's name is. It's these little cards where you put your code on the bottom. And whenever I get a new customer, I send them two or three of those with their code on it. And they'll hand them out to their friends. and you know, it helps them get their ten dollars off, and if they're on, if they are on uh, auto ship, then they get, you know, they'll get their twenty five percent. Um, I, you know, I I started this having no idea. I started this to try to get my um, products at a discount. Had no earthly idea that I was going to make money doing it. I, I mean, I didn't. I thought Ronnie's retired. I'm self-employed we want to take biocell so i'm going to see about selling it so i can get my biocell cheap who knew i mean i had no earthly idea that it would take off like this and i had no earthly idea that i was going to like the products that I, as much as i like the products i have i love the shampoo 
I use the moisturizing shampoo. Um, I, look, I use all the facial products now, have all of them. Um, I have, I've turned my girlfriends on to them. I've told them about them and I'll, you know, bottle of something gets low, I hand it to them and say, here, take it, just try it. So, um, I've, you know, I fell in love with the products and when you love something, it's easy. To me, it's easy to talk about. I do bring it up. I'm so, I'm sure some of my friends get sick of me hearing about it, but I, I tell them how I feel and I have, I post things and it surprises me because just like with Ronnie and I, we watched when Amy started selling it, we watched for four months. We watched four months of her posting about BioCell before we finally decided, okay, let's try BioCell. Um, so people like they, you know, you've heard people are watching. We watched, we were, you know, I would bought a couple of things and then I didn't. And then boom, now we're sold on BioCell. And I keep saying BioCell, but that's my favorite. I can't help it. <laughs> I have, I, I bought from my dad. My dad was going to have um, knee surgery a while back and he's got, he's taken BioCell and it's helped with his knee considerably. So Dina and Missy have both got me out of my box. Very uncomfortable about it, but hey, not as hard as I thought. Ah, and so <laughs> Holly, can I, now, can I just ask you a couple of questions? Her, sure. Okay, so first of all, guys, I want you to know that Holly in high school, and did you tell me college? No, high school. You're in high school, <laughs> whenever she was supposed to do any kind of speech, she said, just give me a zero. She wouldn't do it. Yeah. So uh, when I called her up, uh, when I called her up on the, um, this past weekend, she didn't really have, because I know that this girl wants to grow. She's just scared. And she, what she's afraid of is something that can be conquered, right? Um, it's not like it's like snakes or something. So we, <laughs> we know we can get her outside. We can do this. So I called her up and she did amazing. Although I believe she was shaking, but she did great. Not once, but twice in that one day. But um, the thing that I wanted you guys to know, because I know there's a lot of people on here who are not as blessed as some of us to have a supportive spouse or whoever you live with supporting you. And so um, she, uh, Missy, uh, highly recommended to Holly that she bring her husband Ronnie Friday night. And so tell them what happened after that. Well, I you know, if I tell Ronnie, oh, you need to go to this with me, he's not gonna do it. And so, uh, I said, well, you know what? I talked to Missy and Missy said, this is something you really need to go to, Holly. You need to do it. I said, okay. And, and she told me, she said, if, if Ronnie would go, he would learn so much. It would be great support. You need to get him to go. So once I told him that Missy thinks he needs to go, he agreed to go. <laughs> and he said that he would go Friday night, but there was no way he was going Saturday. He was going to golf Saturday. You can go do the workshop. And so, like I said, we got there and um, he met Justin. He met all the wonderful people. And he even st uh, stood up and spoke about. He the, did. Uh, so, yeah, he stood up and talked. And, uh, and then I had to. But um, next thing I know, he told me that he was coming back Saturday. I was like, what? And he's like, yeah. He, he How about that? Yeah. So, and I mean, Saturday was a pretty long day, you know, or, you know for him. Yeah. <laughs> And he loved it. He absolutely loved it. And now he, we share a Facebook page. He, he is watching every video since I, I, this, like I said, it's tax season. So, you know, I work last night, I worked till 1030. So he watches a lot of the videos and then he tells me, he's told, you know, has notes. You really need to watch that. So um, share with these people real briefly. We'll, we'll wrap it up. What you did today. What did you register for? I registered for the conference, me and Ronnie. <laughs> so he, he's, so we went from not knowing whether we should go, you know, go to the event last weekend and now we're going to conference and he's, he's as fired up about it. Yesterday at a ball game, he was talking to a friend who started talking about his knees and he's selling bio cell. <laughs> there you go. So does everybody get a, a little brief recap here? Somebody who never did, that wasn't interested in doing the industry, Love the product. Decided, well, I might get a few people to buy this because I'm that passionate about it. Is P2 
um, is just doing this in the nooks and crannies, like just somebody that's really, really good at getting customers. But she's so busy with her real job because she owns her own business that this was just really on the back burner. Y'all get that? And she was succeeding big at something she had on the back burner. And then we get her to an event. We get her husband to an event. And she gets out of her comfort zone. She gets a social marketer. Boom, she's going to conference. Do y'all see the way that lined up? And we all know and have people just like that in our organization, in this organization, that it's about timing. And so, Holly, I'm so proud of you. You did amazing. Great Thank job. <laughs> and so guess what? She'll probably get another social marketer this week because she grew again. Because if you're not uncomfortable... Oh, I know. I'm, You're flat you're line. You, you got to get uncomfortable. So you just got uncomfortable again. So congratulations. I'm very proud of you. You are amazing. And you are a blessing to this team and this Memphis Mafia. So thank, thank you. Thank you, you. Okay, Miss Lisa Corcoran, I am going to pass this over to you. Great job, Holly. Awesome job, Holly. That was amazing. Great, great advice, great suggestions. And you are going to love conference. You are going to love it. So we're really glad that you guys are going. You're going to love it. So, all right. That was amazing. I am really, really excited this week to talk about our MVP. Um, if she shared with you her story and kind of how she ended up on our team, you wouldn't believe it to be, you know, to be quite honest. And I hope, I hope that she actually does share that, but you know, I believe that things happen for a reason and the stars align and people are meant to meet at a certain time and people are meant to find each other. And there is no doubt that this woman belongs right where she is with an incredible, incredible upline, which is Margot Timmons. So I just want to share with you all that our MVP this week, she does have experience in the industry and she has been successful before in the industry and she joined Moodair and, you know, she kind of came out of the gate a little slow because it just, the timing wasn't right. And you heard it from Dina, the timing is what matters here. Timing is everything and the timing is right now for her and she drew her line in the sand. And I am honored to be her actual pacing partner. I'm actually pacing with her myself because I believe so strongly in her and just what she's capable of and what she's done. Her consistency lately has been through the roof, tons of new conversations, tons of new Facebook friends, new customers, new social marketers. I don't want to say anymore. She can say the rest herself. She's incredible. And I would love for you guys to all get to hear from our the Philly MVP, Philippa Trammell. Philippa, unmute yourself, please. Got it. Okay, got me? All right. So, hey, everybody, how are you this evening? Thank you so much for um, allowing me to share my story. It is a very busy story. I'll, um, I've been a registered nurse for 26 years, um, specializing in the geriatric population. I'm actually studying right now for health coaching certification as a nurse. Um, I run a uh, health and wellness spa that we started due to my husband's um, cancer. He is now a cancer survivor. And we made a decision to um, move forward and just start practicing health and wellness with other people. I also do hospice on call and um, I teach aerobics to the seniors at 5.30 in the morning. So my day starts at 4.45 and it goes to 11 or 12 o'clock at night. Uh, you do what you gotta do to pay the overhead of the house and stuff like that. But to back up, I actually have been in direct sales for my daughter's now 25. So I was actually in Amway back in the day and I always saw the vision of direct sales. Um, I came from another company over to Modair. Um, I actually got to go see the company. Now here's where you wanna pay attention. Take notes and listen loud and clear because I went and was honored to go see Modair um, in Christmas week of 2016. I joined the company on January 2nd um, and I returned my kit. I turned my kit back in and I decided that um, I had somebody in my ear and I listened to this person who I did value and respect. And um, as strong as a woman that I am, I actually let somebody 
uh, to tear my gut. My gut was telling me to stay, but I went with her somewhere else. So for seven months, I, I returned my kit, but she, I did not resign the company. I kept my spot in the company. Um, so in lots of things happened. Um, my nephew was tragically killed in April of 17 and, um, our lives literally stopped. Um, he's my God, baby brought him into the world and it, it's very painful to this day and, um, miss him every second, but I'm Mama Chick. My nickname and my family is Mama Chick. My sisters call me Mama Chick. My mother calls me for everything. I'm everybody's caregiver. Thus, that's why I'm a nurse, right? So um, I was doing home health again and working a bunch of agency jobs. I was like, I was meeting myself coming and going. And I vividly remember this in July. I was at a patient's house getting ready to go into this house. I felt like I was in like the movie of like, you know, redemption or something. And I'm in this incredible rural area the house is all falling apart and i vividly remember saying this and this is the honest truth i said how did i get here how on earth did i get here i'm not joking i came out of that patient's house drove up the highway where i had cell service i called modair and i did an auto ship god's honest truth this was in july started using the products in july used them in august because i'm one of those hard-headed italians i did not want to Talk, share with my friends because I was very jaded. I was very upset. I felt betrayed. I didn't want to do anything with direct sales, but I had to get some menopause weight off. So I started using the products. I teach seniors in the morning. So I'm like, okay, if this bio cell is everything, because I was trying to poke holes in everything. If this bio cell is everything they say it is, let me see. I have nine little seniors I teach with and they trust me. So we all started the liquid bio cell. I've had three knee surgeries. And I have issues with my left foot due to my knee surgery. Now my knee is not, my leg is not a hundred percent better, but it is much better on the biocell. All my seniors are able to keep up with me in class now. They all drink the biocell. I have two that drink the trim. I have a few that are on the brain health. This was all in Octo, um, August into September. So then in September I said, okay, now I probably need to start promoting this. And I was kind of trying to stay under the radar. I was like, I didn't want to upset my friend who had brought me to go do something else. So I was trying to, trying to stay, you know, keep everybody happy like nurses, you know, most of us are, are people pleasers. And I vividly remember a conversation in September when this woman called me and she fussed at me because, you know, you're selling Modare now? Because I, she thought I resigned the company, but I didn't. Um, and I got blocked on Facebook. She totally blocked me and my entire family. And I'm like, well, then that just showed me that I was just, I was just a paycheck. That really, so there again, I had more issues. And then I get to, I reached out to Lisa Cox in September. And cause it said that I was personally, you know, uh, by Lisa Cox. And then long story short, I found out that I was in Margo Timmons line. So there again, the stubborn little Italian that I am, I dug my feet in the sand, like I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. So Margo actually loved on me, just was super nice to me with her beautiful, like, you know, peace, love, all that kind of stuff. She's very like, you know, like the wind, she just kind of blows through your life and just loves on you. <laughs> She's doing it now. So they talked me into going to conference in October. Now I'm starting to build customers, right? I'm building customers. Um, my husband's not even, my husband is not even doing it. He couldn't even tell you anything. And another company, we were like, we did every, we were together and everything. I just decided to run with this because I'm, I'm going to see if I can do it. Right. So I go to conference with Margo and she'll be honest with you. I didn't even, I didn't even meet Lisa. I did not go out of my way to meet anybody. I was there with my arms folded, sitting in the corner, didn't really interact, trying to just find something wrong. So then I could have said, I told you so. Margo with her sweet little self just kept on loving on me. I met um, Lisa Curtis, Lisa Burgett. I met all these nice people and I come home from conference and I went by myself. I came home. I didn't even tell my job where I was going. Cause remember I work crazy hours. I was like, wouldn't let you tag me on Facebook. I mean, I was a pill. I was definitely difficult. Then, um, came home and I told my husband, okay, I'm going to work this. Started running it. I got all the way. I've gotten to platinum with customers. I'm a good customer getter. Um, 
I share things, I, personal experiences. I, I've used almost every product we have. So you do have to be a product of the product, guys. You know, you have to use the product so you can share your own testimony. One of my favorite products actually is the antioxidant gel. I use that in all my patients at the spa. We all get facials at the spa. They go, their primer is the antioxidant gel. Um, so in November, I made a decision to, to move and do this. But somehow I got stuck in the home health world and hospice world and I was working for six months. I did call straight 24 seven, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I was out in the middle of the night with patients on the weekends, on the holidays for six months. And what happened was I got off track. I got pulled off track. And next thing you know, you know, you know how it is when you, when you're, you're, you're growing to go do something else and you go back to what you know, because it's comfortable. Well, I was comfortable, but it was completely miserable. So God has a great way of working your life, guys. This job that I was working my tar, you know, my tail off ended. And I called Margo. I was like, man, it just took away all my patients. I've been doing this, this, and that. But they wanted me to still do the night call. I'm like, oh no, if I don't have patients, I don't do call. And I called Margo. I said, I'm ready to run. I'm ready to rip it into high gear. And that was, um, probably the end of November, beginning of December, it was probably December, um, started building a team right before we got on this call just now, guys, my little cousin signed up, people are watching, they're watching you, whether you like it or not. Um, I don't have the support of my kids like I had in my other company, you know, my daughter's in the company with me, but we're not doing it together, so that's kind of, that's been rough for me, but I'm doing it myself. I will tell you, I... When all that stuff happened with my, my job, because I'm, you know, my husband, he, he doesn't work as a nurse. He um, got diagnosed with cancer in 2014 and the company he worked for as a nurse, let him go. They, they, they fired him because he had cancer. Um, didn't want him to see patients, not contagious, just to let you know. But so we went from having two full-time incomes and my nice little residual check from the other company to losing everything. And my biggest thing, I did a, a Facebook Live today about your health. You can have all the money in the world, guys. You can be in a, a billion dollar you know, house, a, a, a million dollar yacht, but if you don't have your health, you have nothing, nothing, nothing. I see it every day. So when he lost his job and everything, I'm, I'm like, I like to sing, I'm the sole provider, right? I'm a single mom with a husband. That's what I like to say. That's kind of like ongoing joke because my poor husband, you know, he's out Ubering right now to make money and trying to get back on our feet because, because what the cancer did to us. So we have to make this work. I started, I got away from personal development. So I really, for the past six weeks, I listen to Les Brown. I'm in the, I'm in the gym. I'm, I'm like, I'm saying, preach it, preach it. I'm in the gym on the elliptical. I'm listening to podcasts and I'm just here to tell you if you, you have to believe in yourself and know in your heart of hearts that you can do it, regardless of what anybody else around you is saying, you have to, you have to get the static out of your head because you know, if you'll follow my post book, my Facebook, I'll say it's all here. So I'll say right now I'm, I'm, I'm stretching myself today. I actually was in a hospice meeting this morning because they want me to do call. And I solicited three people for BioCell right there in front of the owners of the company. Cause I don't care. I, I really don't care. I know what we have. I know it's good. Um, but what I would tell you to do just for, for some tips, be very consistent. I, I will, I am pleasantly persistent. Um, I have a friend of mine that I'm trying to, you know, come here with me and, she told me, and I don't think I'm that well at follow-up. I think that's one of my struggles. She says, you're really good at the follow-up. And I'm like, wow, okay. Hmm. Didn't think that. But Lisa Corcoran and I have had that conversation too, is the follow-up. I have oceans of people that I talk to. I love to talk to people. I, if you could pay me to talk, I'd be a millionaire. I'll get their contact information and I am, I'm not following up immediately. So I've, for the past six weeks, you know, I made a decision. I wanted to be MVP. I made a decision. I want, I want to go to Cancun. I want to be on that trip. So I've set goals and I'm writing goals down. I got away from all that when I left our other company, AKA Walgreens, I think it's the company, but, um, I got away from all that personal development. I just kind of shut that door and I learned so much there. So everything, hello. Hey. Um, so 
I would say personal development and persistency. Write things down. Don't forget. I do want to bring my dear friend on, um, Margo, for um, just to share some things with y'all because I know I'm rambling, but I will say that she, uh, we were talking today and I told her that um, if she hadn't loved on me and and listened to me and hear me cry, et cetera, I probably wouldn't be here right now. So I'm going to turn it over to my sweet friend, Margo, who I never met until October and we were roommates in October. And now um, she's just, I consider her a very dear friend. So Margo, can you take it on? Yeah, thank you, Philippa. What beautiful words. And, um, and I love it. And I love that there's kind of a focus tonight on personal development and growing ourselves both from, uh, from Holly and from you. And, and, and let me just start by saying that everyone that has spoken over the last two months has really brought something so magical to the table. I feel like I've learned so much from everybody who shared and it's not easy to share. Um, Holly, I was right there with you. I am, um, you know, Philippa sprung it on me today. Oh, by the way, I'm bringing you on. And immediately I was heaving. Okay. I was at the, my dad's doctor appointment and I wanted to throw up in the corner. So I get that. Plus, Holly, I like that you said fixin' to. That's kind of something that we say here in Texas. But Philip, I remember the conversation and I remember specifically saying, you know what, maybe where you've landed is even gonna be better than what you thought. And I feel like that's where we all are and that's where we are with this group that we are so fortunate to be able to participate with, with uh, Lisa and Dina putting this together for us. You know. Other teams don't have this, you guys. We have kind of created over the last couple of months just a connection with each other and a place where we can really share and, and, um, and open up. And I'll tell you, getting outside of one's comfort zone is not comfortable for me. I like kind of my privacy. I'm kind of down here in my little corner of Texas, as I call it, and I'm, I'm kind of quiet. And it doesn't mean that I'm not doing it. It just means that I'm, I'm quiet. And guess what? It has not served me. And I remember specifically before our 90 day challenge started that we had a homework assignment. I don't know if you guys remember this. We were supposed to watch two movies. Do y'all remember that? We were supposed to watch Pursuit of Happiness and we were supposed to watch Moneyball. Well, Pursuit of Happiness pretty much speaks for itself. I think we are all, you know, we all grew from that experience and we, um, we, we saw just this relentless, uh, pursuit of a dream that this guy had who was played so beautifully by Will Smith and I think all of us have that otherwise we wouldn't be on here on a Monday night for three months and everyone has had a crap sandwich that they've had to eat along this path and you know Philippa is sharing just a tip of the iceberg of hers I can tell you that everybody's got stuff and so I love that that was one of our our homework assignments to let us know that you know, you, you pursue it, you keep driving, you keep moving forward. But the other one was Moneyball. And I don't know if you guys watched that one, but there was a scene that really touched me and it has just, you know, the last couple of months, I've just kind of gone inward and been so introspective. So forgive me if I sound a little, Ooh, but I, I am, I, I, I feel like I've kind of internalized this part of the movie. Do you remember the guy in Moneyball? And if you haven't seen it, sorry, I'm gonna blow it for you because um, just be prepared. He, the, this big old baseball player comes up to the base and he slugs this ball and he runs and he runs, I think he runs past first and he's always considered himself just to be a base hitter. And he makes it, I think he goes to second base and he slides into base and he's safe and everybody is yelling, run, run, you hit a home run. And he did not even realize that he had hit a home run because he had thought right here for his whole life that he was a base hitter. And that just like knocked me off my feet. I thought, okay, where in my life am I really capable of hitting it out of the park and I'm considering myself to be a base hitter? And I'm sorry if I'm getting a little woo, deep, but Modere is just one area. You know, if I'm a health and wellness person, am I really branding myself as a health and wellness person? Am I taking good care of myself physically? Am I, if I'm trying to be a, someone who can, can, shed light on people's money issues and help them make money. Am I fiscally fit? Am I, 
so anyway, all this introspection, what we have is brilliant, you guys. And we have this amazing group that is consistently showing up on a Monday night to push ourselves to be the guy that recognizes that they can knock it out of the park every single time. That's my own little, like I'm talking to myself. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm just preaching to Margo right now. Um, because I think we all have it. I think we are, the, we are the beasts that show up on Monday night to provide that love and support and nurturing and belief. And I think that we are so blessed to have Lisa and Dina setting up a framework for us where we can come together and kind of empower and remind each other that we are that. So for that, I'm really profoundly grateful. And I do feel like we've kind of landed here at a perfect spot, a perfect storm. And I say, let's just go. Let's just go do it. So peace out. Love y'all. So I'm just going to wrap up really quick. Thank you, Margo. First of all, I, I really adore you. I just really, really do. I need, I need a, I, we all need a Margo in our lives. I just want <laughs> to ask, you. just, you know, a couple of things. Lisa, Lisa Corcoran is a lot like me. You know, we shoot from the hip. So if you want to grow this business, guys, you have to be coachable. If somebody says, says jump, ask how high. If they tell you to go out and talk to five people that day, go talk to five people. Be coachable and be willing to listen. You know, people say, oh, well, you're a nurse. You're easy to do. You're, it's easy for you to do that. It's really not because, because I am a nurse. It's actually harder to do because people feel they can't, they don't have the knowledge that I have. So it is actually harder for us to, to build companies with, you know, products are fun, but teams it's hard. I want to leave you with a couple of things. My word for the year is resilience because, because my life, you know, our family has been through so much and we are very resilient and we are very, you just learn who you are when you, when you lose a child and the, you just learn what's important. Please, who cares if the dishes aren't done? Go play with your kids. Who cares if, you know, who cares? Build your business, let the house, let the dust keep. Cause like my patient said, the dust will be there when you're long and gone. I want you to stay persistent, consistent and focused. You will get there. You will be, you will just be consistent. And when you talk to people, you want to hail them. I just want to tell you this little acronym. It's hail. You want to talk to them with honesty, authenticity, your integrity needs to shine through and you have to be loving. If you talk to people with that hail acronym, you will, they'll see your heart and they'll know that you're honest. So with that, I just want you to know that you can be, you can do this. I have a huge goal and um, I'll see you. Take care. Back to you, Lisa. <laughs> wow. You guys, oh my gosh. Can you see how incredible these two are? Filippo, thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for sticking with us despite sending your kit back and coming back and getting blocked. And I mean, that when I remember hearing all that, I remember when, um, sorry, my uh, low battery. I remember hearing all that. I was like, what? What? Like, I couldn't, I, my ears, I was like, I don't, what did this poor woman have to go through? But look at you now. And I believe, like you said, that you're in the right place. And Margo, if it wasn't for you, you guys, it's the power of relationships right there. Just like we've always said, I mean, Margo took the time and put in the effort to truly get to know Philba and it all worked out. And here they are together. And Margo, your information tonight was great too. And I think that was, that was really what we all needed to hear. So thank you. You guys, incredible, incredible night. Holly, great job to you as well. Um, remember, we've got two whole days left. Um, if you're in my team, jump on the Elite, Elite Evolution. I did a, a quick live for fun little last minute incentive for our group uh, to try to close it out really cool this month. and. You guys just hit hammer the next two days like nobody's business you are worth it you deserve it and let's go do it like dina said we are sharks so let's get out there and bite some stuff okay i hope you guys all have a great night and we will talk next week love you guys go get some horses and show them how to eat some corn <laughs> well we we'll just uh suck the heads and pin the tails down in southeast Louisiana. Ah. Good night, guys. Good night. Thank you all so much. Great Good job. Night. Amazing.